Good morning! Welcome to another week vlog. It is today, Wednesday morning, and um, it is Sigmund's birthday. Yes, that's a lot of fun. He is at work right now, but tonight some family and friends are coming over. Um, but I'll start with the movies we've watched so far. Um, Sunday evening, we did watch a movie, um, another Hitchcock movie. I've seen quite some Hitchcock movies lately and I really, really like it. So yeah, nowadays I'm always up to see a Hitchcock movie. Last week we watched Psycho, which was really, really great. I have been stalling that quite for long because I don't like watching black and white movies. But yeah, well, I'm an exception because it's a Hitchcock movie. Um, but this week we watched this one. Yes, it is with uh, Julie Andrews. So that's, uh, yeah, it was nice to see her in, in a Hitchcock movie. I, I must say I know her mainly for um, The Sound of Music. Oh my God. <laughs> that took a long time. Yeah, The Sound of Music. But yeah, it, it, it was fun and I had to say it really got me off guard because she just told this movie and said like, oh, maybe we can watch this. And I looked at it and said like, Torn curtain? What's that? <laughs> of course it's just torn curtain. It was an evening. Yep. But I, I, I love the movie. Again, I mean, I, I don't have a single Hitchcock movie that I didn't like. I mean, some I like better than others. But uh, yeah, this one was, was very nice as well. Again. And then um, Monday... Yeah, Monday I, I just went to work and originally I had to travel but because of the weather I didn't so I was back home quite on time and we had time to watch another movie which was a trauma movie this time this one yes so we hadn't seen that uh, yet I haven't seen that much trauma movies yet I've seen a few and yeah it's, it's just a, a, a typical kind of movie that they make and once in a while I like to watch one. So yeah, that this one also was, was quite interesting to watch. And yeah, yeah for, for me it's worthwhile to, to, to give it a watch. I like the, the trauma movies. And when we were in New York in October, in New York Comic Con, we also met Lord, Lloyd Kaufman. I, I always say Lord Kaufman. Lloyd Kaufman, <laughs> who's directing the trauma movies. And uh, yeah, he's such a nice guy. And he, he told us, uh, we, we had a chat about the movies and stuff. And yeah, I always like um, watching the movies then again or watch other movies uh, when I met someone and, and just see them from a different perspective. So I really enjoyed this one as well. And yeah, well, like I said, today is his birthday, so I don't think we're gonna watch a movie today. Uh, yesterday we didn't watch a movie as well because uh, I worked all day, Sigmund as well, and when we were home we went to the to the shop and get some food and drinks for tonight. And then, um, oh yeah, we went to pick up some new DVDs. That is true. I can show you those. Um, yeah. So basically we picked up some new DVDs, then I came back home and then I worked for Morse again. And then it was practically too late to start a watch movie because Sigmund had to work today again. I'm off today. Um, yeah, let me grab those movies in a second. I'll make a new movie with the movies that I, that I got last night. I, I, I like them as well. And yeah, so today um, Sigmund is working. I'm... Uh, going to visit my parents parents uh, this afternoon and then I'm gonna clean up the house a bit and put everything in order for everyone to come tonight and that's about it yeah maybe I'll show you the presents I gave to Sigmund in uh, later on in this vlog as well I can already say it was uh, all seasons of married with the children um, another horror DVD and some things for the Xbox 360, a game and a memory card and a, and a CD. So yeah, I'll see if I have time to show it in, in, in a later vlog. I don't have it here right now. But yeah, I'll be back with talking about the movies that I got last night.
So, I'm, um, I'm gonna show you the movies I, I bought just in a minute. But first I thought, okay, let's make some tea and make some, some veggies to eat in between. So I, I picked a bell pepper and I'm cutting it. And just look at this, there's just, it has a bell pepper in it. <laughs> okay, I think I've, I have seen this once, but almost never. Which is really, really weird. I cut it open at first on here, and that was my first view, so that looks kind of weird. Um, yeah, it's like a bell pepper in a bell pepper. Just thought it was funny <laughs> to share <laughs> my bell pepper. Let's see if I can... Can I get it out? That, that would be weird. Let's see. Let's remove this. This. Yeah, yeah, I can. This is this is the bell pepper that is inside. The bee. <coughs> Just tastes like bell pepper. All right, quite okay. <laughs> Hi, I made it. Just. I, I don't have a lot of time, but I'll just show my new videos. I've been to my parents this afternoon and now I'm back home, but tonight we're gonna have some people over for Stephen's birthday. So still gonna have to clean up, put everything in order, get the chairs inside, uh, lots of things to do. But first I'm gonna show you the DVDs I got yesterday. And I made myself some tea and got myself some veggies so I can eat some things. So, let's talk about movies. Second up movies I got. Tinker Tailor Soldier's Pie. I've seen the movie in the cinema. And now I run into it again. And I thought it would be fun to have it in a collection. So, another movie added. Um, another one is Bath Fester. It's more cabaret. Yeah. Comedy, fun. Um, yeah, I've seen the show once live. I don't own any of his DVDs. So when I ran into this one, and Sigmund hadn't seen any shows of him, so we decided to, to keep this one and to watch it soon and see what he also thinks about it and see if I still like it. It's been a couple of years ago that I went to see one of his shows. Oh, and another one, which is already in there, was um, a two-disc version of Twilight New Moon. I just had the one-disc version, so I replaced it with the two-disc. And yes, I like the Twilight movies. You can both and enjoy horror movies and like the Twilight movies. And I do. Just another shocker. <laughs> bring it on the second movie mm, I have the first movie already it was it is more nos nostalgia than whatever else I mean it's it's not a wonderful good movie but I had fun watching it when I was way younger and with a friend we always sang the songs from bring it on I'm not gonna do that right now I'm not gonna sing the songs no no but the the, the ugly song like UGLY you ain't got no alibi, yeah, that song. Oh, I thought it was hilarious. Um, that, um, I don't know. Oh, I sing it all the time. I don't know, I sing it all the time with it. Like, um, it's cold in the air, must be some toros in the atmosphere. Yeah, that song. So, it always reminds me of that. And sometimes I still sing the songs. I'm not gonna do it now in this vlog. But, yeah, I just decided to keep this movie as well, just for good memories, so. It's gonna go in the collection and maybe one day I'm thinking, why do I have this? And I'm gonna put it away again, but we'll see. So three new DVDs. And today uh, my Christmas presents for Sika are also coming in at my parents. So I also uh, looked at the Christmas presents. And uh, yeah, cannot tell you yet what it, what it is. Because this vlog will be up before Christmas. So I'm not saying a word. But I'm busy 
with all the presents because we have a lot of Christmassy things to do to celebrate Christmas also with Liv and Tristan also together so I bet there will be a lot of movie-ish presents and I will definitely show you I will definitely do a, a Christmas update or whatever as you will probably too I think so, yeah. But, well, I'm not gonna keep you talking any longer. Maybe I'll vlog a little bit tonight at uh, FT Moon's birthday. Maybe I can show the presents I gave him. But, for now, bye. Good morning. It's Thursday morning, day after Six birthday. And I'm getting ready to go to work. Uh, it was a lot of fun last night. And, uh, yeah, evening went very quick. I'm a bit tired now, but yeah, I'm heading to work in a moment and then um, after that there are Christmas drinks from work, so I'll probably be home late, won't see any movies today, I guess. Uh, yeah, and then now everything, <laughs> we still have to clean up a lot. And yeah, there's quite some work still to do, the dishes and stuff, luckily we have a dishwasher, but yeah. I made my cornflakes just in a glass because <laughs> there wasn't anything else to use. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically it. The The birthday was fun and uh, yeah, we decided to go to the new Star Wars movie next Monday or Tuesday. So, I'll definitely keep you updated on that. And um, in case you want to know, here are some highlights from the birthday. Minimal challenge! <laughs> Say something! Say! <laughs> Say Luke Skywalker! <laughs> Monday and Tuesday! It's good luck! Star Wars! Star Wars! I'm gonna watch Star Wars next week! Yeah! And get food! For Christmas. Nee, nee. Food. 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 Good morning. Uh, today it's uh, Saturday morning. Um, yeah, Thursday I had the Christmas drinks uh, from work, so yeah, I didn't watch any movies or whatever that day. Um, Friday uh, I worked from home, and then I, I went to my parents in the evening. And uh, I, in between, I did watch one episode of the Black Mirror. Sorry, I have to think about that. Black Mirror. Um, yeah, I really like the series. I haven't seen a lot, a few episodes. I think three or something. And the one I watched was an episode from season one, I think, um, where people, you know, record everything they see, where they can relive their memories and stuff and review them. So, yeah, it was a fun episode, I thought it was interesting, and I, I like Black Mirror, but I always watch it, like, once a month an episode or something, I never binge watch it, or whatever. Well, and today's Saturday, I'm heading to do uh, some sports to start the day with. I thought I'd uh, do a small vlog first, then uh, doing some groceries, and we're going uh, to eat some sushi tonight. There's a new sushi place in town started about two weeks ago, so we're gonna try it out. And yeah, definitely watch a movie tonight, so keep you posted on what that will be. I have no idea yet. And next week we're going to Star Wars. Hi, it is Saturday afternoon, and um, I'm now working on uh, another article written by Simona from Any Rushing Fans. A couple of weeks ago she wrote an article for us about meeting Annie Worshing and now she did an amazing series tip for us so she sent um, some pictures to me and all the text she wrote so I'm putting it now on the back end of our website so we can uh, hopefully publish the article this week so I'm working on that and in the meantime I am uh, chatting with her via Twitter just when I have questions about writing the article or what she means or want to say then I can adjust some things. So, um, yeah, that's pretty nice. I hope this article uh, will be online next week, but I think it will, because it's not 
too much work as far as I can see. You can see that I'm now working here on the article. Let's see what she said on Twitter. We're talking a bit about plot of um, the series that she's gonna do, Marvel's Runaways. And I asked some questions just to clarify some things because I haven't seen the series. And uh, yeah, to make sure it is clear for everyone who hasn't seen it either. But yeah, what, I, what I'm reading, I read the article, it's gonna be really fun. I think it's a really, really good series and um, I really like uh, Julian McMahon also in that series. That is really cool. And now she's giving me some background info to do the article on. Um, okay, okay, that makes it clear. I just sent over some things and uh, said that I think I will probably be able to publish it next week since it's going quite fast and well the article she she sent to me it's, it's completely done so I'm just reading it putting it in the back end and uh, adding some photos and stuff and just making checking the, the SEO of the article and yeah it's uh, not too much work Oh, uh, she wants it online quicker. Well, <laughs> that depends on how much I'm gonna stay talking and how fast I can uh, fix the article. Okay. So, for Tuesday. see where my deadline is. I just asked and okay. Yeah, well, okay. I'm gonna work a bit further on that and I'll come back to you later. See and I also went to the second hand shop today and bought some new DVDs. Hi. Sushi time! Mint? Yeah. Let's see. And I'll take the Hi. Here's just another quick update. It is Saturday evening. We're about to decide which movie we're gonna see. I have no clue yet. Always up for a Hitchcock movie, but we'll see what we'll choose. I also bought some new DVDs today because we went to the second hand store. I bought The Help, a movie from which I really, really thought I had it already. I have seen it, but I thought I had it already. But see, check the. He has an app with all the movies we have in there, and we didn't. I didn't check here yet. But yeah, I bought it. I really like the movie. Second one is A Beautiful Mind. I've never seen it. I want to see it, so I bought it. It was in the second hand shop. It was 50 cents. What can go wrong for 50 cents? And the last one is a movie I picked up. I thought this is really bad. Why, why would I buy this? And I bought it. Why? You can see it here. It is Earl Girls Are Easy. I just picked it up because I thought this is a really, really weird name for a movie. And I was definitely not gonna buy it, but I did when I saw that Gina Davis was in there. I really like Gina Davis. I have seen her in the in the 
League of Their Own. That's the movie. Yeah, I saw her for the first time and she's so awesome. And it's also a movie with uh, Jeff Goldblum and Jim Carrey. So, yeah, that got me curious. I'm gonna pick out a movie for tonight now. Bye! Hello. So, it is Sunday afternoon. And I quickly went to the shop to get some shopping paper for Christmas. I really need to start packing the presents. Uh, yesterday, we did watch a movie, we watched The Help, one of the movies I bought, yeah. I, I, I like watching it again, so you can have it, I did, so we watched it together. And yeah, before that we ate sushi in the, in the restaurant. You've probably seen already a small thing like that in the vlog I'm making. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was quite funny actually because I ordered a soda pop. I thought, well, I have no idea what it is. Something Japanese, but I'm gonna try it. It was a drink, and it came there, and I had no clue on how to open it. I was turning and turning, and yeah, I had no idea. Okay, I made this small video of the soda pop, so check it out. This is soda pop. Okay, so I asked Steve to help me. Maybe he was able to, to pull it open or something and then he came with the idea to push something in there. What came along? And that was the right move, but someone had been, yeah, I don't know, mixing the bottle or something. So he just pushed it in there to try and then everything like splattered out. <laughs> we, we left so hard and so many people we're looking at us. It, it was, yeah, it was awesome. I'm gonna try out the drinks more often. But well, this is the week, week spot for now. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe and like, and see you next.